Sir, I am Sambit Ranjan Ponda and basically from Borgod district. I was born and brought up there. I done my primary schooling from Rachanapalli, Borpazar Rachanapalli Anjali High School from Borpazar. Thereafter, I have done my intermediate from Anjali Kisan College, Bhadan. Thereafter, I have done my graduation in chemistry honors from Otabira College affiliated to Sambalpur University. Um, and my hobbies are uh, listening podcast basically related to history of India and tech talks and uh, well, uh, watching movies uh, based on true events, so, inspired by true events, and uh, historical and cultural significance. Okay, okay. So, with, uh, you have taken chemistry honors. So, why you have taken chemistry honors? Yes, sir. Chemistry so, honors. Why, why don't you take chemistry as your option? Uh, sir, there are certain reasons for which I had not taken chemistry as my optional. Mm -hmm. The first is uh, the demand of the questions and the the nature of the questions and the proportions of numerical questions and theoretical questions in Odisha civil services or EPSC type of exams and the college or university of exams are altogether different. Basically, the nature and the demand of the questions are different. The second reason is uh, chemistry is not a part of general study. So, it, it would take extra efforts and extra time to prepare uh, so that. But the third part is the subject you have already been taught and you have invested in minimum two to three years. Three years. Well, we may have graduation as well. Yes. Have you done PG in chemistry? No, sir. Only, only graduation. So, you have invested three years in chemistry. Yeah. So, three years effort and not taking it as an optional subject. Uh, does it mean that you will be scoring less marks in chemistry than the paper we have chosen? No, sir. Not less marks, but I think. Uh, uh, in uh, that I have taken history and public administration as my optional in civil services. So I have genuine interest in that subject. History is also in my optional in EPSC civil services also. And public administration is closely related to administration and civil services. Uh, so that I have taken. Okay, Samit. So you are from Borgot. Basically, what are the main problem before Borgot administration? Sir, Borgot administration in particular. Administration. Uh, when it is in news every day. Uh, sir, basically the law and order issue in is one. Uh, recently a case of uh, custod custodial death. Uh, law and order problem, one problem. Any other problem? Uh, sir, basically the uh, I would say the people are not getting the quality and uh, timely services like uh, education, health. So where lies the problem? Where people are not getting services? Uh, sir, if I talk about health in particular, health, uh, the Burgard district, 68 percent maternal, uh, sorry. The no, you are taking your problem. My uh, question to you is why? Because we have so much here, 35 years of independence, mm -hmm. OSI is growing. So why you say people are not getting health facility, Burgard? Why? Where is the problem? Sir, basically first is the corruption at the low level of administration. Uh, second is the awareness among people, okay, lack of awareness among people. Uh, third is basically the sorry, sir, I am not able. To Chef, I mean, the question was raised that what the problem you are facing in Baro district. Hmm. Uh, I had the opportunity of working in Baro district. Is hmm. that pedi procurement? Pedi procurement, yes. I want to answer because I work at social video. Yes, very very problem. Problem. Uh, he must be knowing that Pedal has the largest share of And Borgodi is also known people commit suicide. Are you aware of it? Ah, yes, sir. Commit suicide. Just because their paddy is not sold in time, mm -hmm. they don't get the option price uh, uh, fixed mm -hmm. by the government. So the, the most heinous problem in Borgodi. Yes, sir. Dadan yes, yes, problem, do Borgodi have any Dadan problem? Ah, sir. Migrant labor. Migrant labor, distress migration. Ah, yes, sir. Why? From which area do you know? Which pocket of border facing this migration, migrant problem? So, okay. you, have, you, have, you, have two, you have two subdivisions in the district, is it? Two subdivisions. So One is Padampur. Padampur, huh? Another is Baragad. So, which subdivision faces that acute sector? So, rather, they face the problem. And actually, people like it to other ways to seek employment. Sir, Padampur subdivision. Yes, sir. Okay, 
पदम पुरुष पदम पुरुष सर बेसिकली द एग्रीकल्चरल डिस्ट्रेस इज वन ऑफ द रीजन एग्रीकल्चरल डिस्ट्रेस ओके वेरी गुड बट व्हाट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड एग्रीकल्चरल डिस्ट्रेस गिव मी सम पॉइंट सर बेसिकली लैक ऑफ इरिगेशन फैसिलिटीज इन एंड सेकंड इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स सर द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव प्रॉब्लम्स दैट आर देयर दैट दैट दी पैडी कोर्ट मैंडेट इनिंग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टू द पिक्चर आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड In any way, uh, the rural subdivision having the highest irrigation potential, and the reverse is in case of Padam district, Padam subdivision. So both are facing problem. One is facing problem because of their paddy uh, produced is not sold properly in the market, and they are not getting the price fixed by the government. And another case is Padam subdivision faces acute shortage of water. Water shortage. Water shortage. So there may sometimes it will actually affect the agriculture, and they have adopted a system. Uh, Obtained variety of paddy, as you know, and the best variety of paddy is available in uh, that Padam district. Are you aware of it? That Jili Chow, Jili, Jili, yeah, Jili. Yeah, the best variety. Best quality. Yeah. Best quality. So they have a market uh, for that matter. So why actually the people migrate to other areas to seek employment? Very simple answer. Thank you. Why people migrate? Lack of lack of employment opportunity. Lack of employment. There is yeah. one season, one paddy season. Yes, sir. One paddy season. Yeah. So the lean season, they don't have any work. They they bound to migrate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lack of employment opportunity. Okay. okay, so health problem or what is facing currently? Yes, sir. Health problem, basically nutrition and related health related problems. They have women in reproductive. No, no, no. Is it this or any very severe health problem? Or sir, cancer. Reason? Yes. Cancer related problem. What is the reason? सर बेसिकली दी पेस्टिसाइड यूज मोर यूज ऑफ बेसिकली उनको ने चकड़ा जो कहते हैं चकड़ा एक एक प्रकार रोग जो पेस्टिसाइड चकड़ा ओके पेस्ट पेस्ट ओके टू इरेडिकेट टेल मी वन थिंग यू हैव पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑप्शनल गवर्नमेंट ऑफ ओडिशा इज प्रोवाइडिंग आहार केंद्र ओके आहार केंद्र आहार केंद्र इज ए आहार केंद्र इट इज ए वैल्यू फ्री अप्रोच ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ ओडिशा और वैल्यू लेडेन अप्रोच ऑफ गवर्नमेंट I think you have you know about value free value that an NPA NPM. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. New public administration, new public ah, management. Ah, so, what is Ahara Kendra signifies? What approach of government are we taking? Sir, value led an approach. Value led an approach. And the Nimantrana restaurant. Sir, sir, I am not aware. Nimantrana restaurant. You have not heard about government or police establish a restaurant Nimantrana. लोकसभा भवन एंड नॉट ओडिशा सेक्रेटेरिएट सो टू बेसिकली सर द मोटिव बिहाइंड दैट इज टू द डब्ल्यू सी सर्विस सिटी एंड सर्विस सिटी एंड सर्विस सर वीडियो यू आर पार्ट ऑफ लाइन और पार्ट ऑफ स्टाफ हां सर ओके गवर्नमेंट ऑफ ओडिशा इज फॉलोइंग हु इज चैटर प्रिंसिपल हु इज प्रिंसिपल गवर्नमेंट ऑफ ओडिशा इज द गवर्नेंस इज कंटिन्यूइंग On the basis of which principle? The famous principle, everyday newspaper. The secretary is dedicated to. Five T. It is five T or six T. That's six T. That tour is also. Okay. What is the other five? So transparency, mm. transformation, mm. time, technology, mm. and teamwork. Teamwork. Okay. So how to how to increase efficiency of governance? What is the concept behind that tour? Help me from public administration point of view. Ah, uh, so to build the trust of the people in the administration, uh, and to aware people about various government initiatives, mm-hmm. and citizen-friendly public services, and. Uh, okay, give me one instant. Any government office, you visit any government office. That yes, sir. This is this is what this is, this promotes citizens' participation in administration. One example from which I can convince that yes, 
government of Odisha is doing this and this promotes Indian participation in administration. You have visited many office, block office, many office. So from that, uh, give me an example. That yes, this this promotes citizens participation in administration, and this promote citizens grievance reduction mechanism. Citizen chapter. Yes, citizen chapter one. Any other thing? Ah, uh, sir. Right to information. RBI. Yes, you can say any other thing. Every office there is written a box. Ah, sir. Open your box. Ah, sir. Open your box. So, suggestion yeah. box and complaint box. Yes. Obhimoto means what? Your suggestion. Yes, that is your participation in government. Obhijoga means what? Your grievance. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Sir, you are watching uh, uh, films with true events. Yes, sir. The last film that you watched. Yes, sir, the rocketry, the Nambi effect, and RRR also. Nambi is basically Nambi Narayana. Mm -hmm. RRR is. Uh, so, uh, yes, sir. I mean, what, what they went in that? What lesson you learned? Sorry, sir. What is the essence of that film? Sir, which... Uh, nam yes, Nambi that, Nambi effect. What is the essence of that film? Yes, sir. Basically, the Nambi Narayanan was a scientist in Isro and he was a very talented, very good scientist and, a, and full of patriotism. But uh, there was a conspiracy to blame him and all that. So, does it mean that, uh, yes, naturally, it was a very sad thing that for doing good things he was punished. So, what will be your viewpoint? Would you leave that? You will not be honest in your work? No, sir. I will be honest. Why? Because you, once you become honest, you will be punished. And it, many examples are there to show you only good people, good people in the heart, and honest people, they will get sized. You must have known the name of Kemka, Asok Kemka. Asok Kemka, sir. Kemka. He was a ah, yes, of Haryana cadre. He has been a task for around 50, more than 50 times. 57 times of 56 yes. times. Yes. And when, where he goes, he is not the only thing that within the competency of law and boundary. Yes. And once he does that, he gets transferred. So, what will be the point? So, you cannot be honest. Once you become honest, you can get harassed actually. So, what will be the point? Uh, no, sir. Would you be honest and get transferred and get disturbed? Or will you invite problem and punishment? So what do you do? No sir, I would do my work as per the law and for the betterment of the society, whatever may be the consequences and uh, with honesty, truthfulness, transparency and with compassion and empathy, I would do my work at best. Teacher, uh, recently you must have seen that uh, we are going to change some chapters in history. Yes, uh, NCRT uh, yes. production. Now we are saying that uh, some part of history uh, has been elaborately uh, elucidated, yes, whereas some chapters which are more relevant to us or should have been there, has been eliminated or uh, has not been there. So, what is your viewpoint actually? Not going to the details, what is your viewpoint? Should it be there or should, it, should we edit the history book or oh, you should accept as it is? Sir, according to National Education Policy 2020, uh, and after the COVID-19 pandemic, there has been a shift uh, towards lowering the burden on the children basically and removing the unnecessary and un not unnecessary but I would say that are not relevant in today's uh, scenario that part or that content are being removed. Is it the actually we are unloading the students the baggage or something else that moves us forward in editing the books? Uh, Sir, actually, the reason or the motive behind that is that to, to remove the or to lower the burden on the student. But I would say to some person, for example, the Mughal history or Mughal related or the Pakistan related history that are being removed. So, I think that should be in the book because uh, students of history are more aware of, or I would say, will more aware. Uh, of that, after reading that person. So, I think that should be in the book. But that should be proper references. There is no denial uh, the fact that okay. yes, we should mention the Mughal history as part of our history. But others are there who have been left out. Should also be there. Yes. They also need to be represented. Uh, and 
at the learning age, at the young age, we learn everything. Uh, we put it in our mental mapping. Uh, the, these are the things we have read. And it has a bearing in our mind. Okay? When we grow up, it has a bearing in our mind. So, uh, what, what's the difference? Should we uh, delete the uh, chapter, some chapters uh, to the uh, in, in, including other chapters, or rather we would add chapters which is not there? Uh, sir, uh, deleting deleting the chapters which are not relevant and adding some chapters which increase the child's uh, capabilities to think rationally, to think freely, creative thinking that would promote. So, we should add some chapter also. The regional disparity? The regional disparity is basically the difference in economic prosperity, political participation and social empowerment between different regions. Can you say in the context of Odisha? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, basically the eastern Odisha or the coastal belt are more prosperous than the western Odisha. So, uh, in terms of uh, education, uh, industrialization, uh, social empowerment and all that. So that, it's a yes, regional disparity exists in Odisha. So what should we do to bridge the gap? Sir, government is also taking various initiatives uh, like uh, Biju KBK Jojana and Western Odisha Development Council and... As a, uh, as a bureaucrate, as a civil uh, servant, uh, what you can do? Yes, sir. Suppose we are posted in Noapada district in a block or Navarangpur in a block. So, as your capacity, what you can do? So, bridge some gap. Yes, sir. I, first thing that I, what I do is uh, inclusive development. Inclusive development uh, through a holistic approach, uh, taking, working with multiple stakeholders at multiple level in multiple sectors. Basically, education, women empowerment, health, transportation, because all this encompasses the inclusive development. And simply, you can say, I will implement all policy in a best possible manner. Yes, sir. This is book is Hegala. This answer is a frame. Listen, as a, uh, as a part of line or directed, what you are supposed to do? You implement, implement all policy. policy. And government is doing, listen, central government, state government is doing enough policy. The problem is that the benefit of policy cannot reach the poor. Proper implementation. Yes, proper implementation you would have. Yes sir, yes or no sir. Mm. If proper implementation happen, all problem will done. Mm -hmm. The problem is implementation only properly. Government will have no problem. Central state government yes, has a policy. Banaoji. And as a civil servant, you have to implement it. You ensure that benefit to the reach to the last man. Grassroot level reach. Grassroot level reach. Yeah. As a part of uh, staff. It is a genuine answer. Hmm. Hmm. In the development of the book is a language. Practical answer. Can you say what is the consequences? Suppose we admit yes, yes, there is a certain gap between East and West. Hmm. Maybe South West also there is a gap. Uh, in, in relation to uh, the, belt, uh, the region which actually has a little bit of uh, power in economics. Uh, so, what is the consequence actually? Yeah, does it have any impact on this? Yes, sir. The feelings of regionalism. Basically, the coastal movement in Western Odisha, that is one of the consequences. And is the it poverty. Just, is, it, is it justified? Is it justified? Is it to please give your honesty, actually? Is yes. it justified? Sir, uh, I think uh, the regionalism. Because, because everywhere. Uh, you, regionalism you, is everywhere. You, you visit any state, uh, they sir. have some regional disparity. Because it's, it's <coughs> impossible to think. Even if we are routed right and left hand, uh, we, we have one, one hand is actually stronger than the other hand, yes. even if two hands. Yes, so there will be a disparity. Yes, but yes, our part is to bridge that gap, uh, to see that both the rebalances actually gets closure. Uh, we have a level playing field for all the people. Uh, everybody has an access to health, uh, education, minimum uh, diet, everything actually. But uh, don't you warrant that uh, movement actually? Uh, no, sir, the secessionist movement is basically against the unity and integrity of our country. Uh, but at the same time, the government and the administration has also uh, taken care of this to, to implement the policy in the best possible way uh, so that the regional disparity can be bridged. Achha, the other day, you will be a Tawasildar uh, Tawasil incidentally, once you uh, get selected in OS, you will be either posted as a video or Tawasildar for In most of the cases, actually. And once you become a Tawasildar, you are empowered with executive power. 
means uh, uh, you have to go and uh, see that Lord and order is prevented. Uh, so, uh, and there is an accident in which actually injury and even death to some persons. People got to rail, uh, Rasta Rup, they are sorted to Rasta Rup. What do you do then? Uh, sir, first thing I would do the, to save the life of the injured person, uh, proper medical care and facility. And uh, also to second, I would do the violent mob or the people that are striking there. So to persuade them and to uh, will they agree? Them to will they agree? They have already hesitated yes, and they sat on the roads, blocking all the movement of the vehicles. Will yes, they agree? And uh, you, you must be sure actually, Baragod and Atab is famous for Rastar. <laughs> yes, sir. Almost like you said, three to four times in a month for petty procurement. Yes, right. I also from Borgar, sir. Yeah, from Borgar. So, so I was for that for two, four years in Atara, so I have seen it. And if I know how, and incidentally, there's a very blind spots between Atavira and Borgar. Yes, and sir. So, Burla, Burla and Atavira, is it? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, blind, blind spots. Oh, I, have, I have seen many times. So, sir, what will you do actually? What will your approach actually? Anyway, that's an NH. That's an NH. We have to remove the Blockage yes, for free movement of the vehicles. What would you do? I would assure them, sir, the proper investigation. Whoever may be involved in that, I would convince the people that uh, he will be punished. And uh, the investigation will be done in proper manner. And also the compensation, uh, whatever may be the compensation. We will not involve the police people actually, because they, they, yes, sir, they, they in, are at the best bargain position actually. Yes, sir, but, but I would not, not use the force. Wait, I am not saying anything. You, uh, I am not saying they use force. There is absolutely no question yes, of using force. Because anyway, it will lead to more violence. Yes, sir, more violence. But you have to involve police. Yes, sir, involve police. They, they must be in a better position to bargain things with them, actually. Yes, sir, and to control the law and order situation. Yes, okay, so the last question from me. So, you are a video and uh, uh, you inform in, uh, for example, the ruling party propaganda in a particular place. You promote. So, which principle you are violating? Uh, sir, uh, neutrality, mm -hmm. uh, impartiality, mm -hmm. and uh, you are biased towards the political bias towards the political, so political biasness. Okay, suppose, uh, 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 huh. and uh, uh, once you found, you directly, this is you involve, and sometimes uh, I am giving a, a situation, or directly give anonymity. What is anonymity? So anonymity means uh, the permanent executive. Basically, the, the administration uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, basically uh, should always be behind the curtain. Behind the curtain. Uh -huh. okay. To to his only um, the administration's only work is uh, to advise the political executive mm -hmm. and to frame the policies and implement the policies in low level. Okay, level. you are a tosildar. Okay, tosildar. You are appointed as tosildar. You get some uh, people stealing <coughs> sand. Okay. Sand mining. Sand mining. Okay. And uh, you catch them, and you are supposed to impose fine. But uh, the operator call you said uh, that Mr. Konda, uh, let him go. I'm just telling you. What you need to do? You need to obey your superior order, or you will go according to the rules and regulations. Sir, obeying superior order is also important because it is a part of our national culture and mm -hmm. the rule, rule and regulations. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, sir, this is uh, not proper in in, in this situation. So, I would ask him to reconsider his decision and uh, I would also uh, tell him about the consequences. Yeah, the what will you do? What step you take? Sub collector say, Mr. Konda, let him go. And you are just appointed two month, three month, new appointed. Sub collector tell, tell you that Mr. Konda, let him go. I will manage. But uh, you found the situation that yes, he should be punished. Yes, sir. But he is a very influencing, he has connection with very influencing people, MP, MLA. So, a two step you have. Either you just obey the sub collector or let him go. Or you impose punishment and face consequence. So, what should be, what do you think is a better option? Sir, the second one is a better option because uh, that is according to the, to the rules and mm -hmm. uh, the, the principles of objectivity mm -hmm. and integrity. Mm -hmm. So, I would do according to the law and uh, punish the culprit, whatever may be the consequences.